payment will be transferred into your account on acquisition of both priority objectives. I will reiterate this one final time. You are to find the case with the prototype device as well as the research containment box. The coordinates provided to you should see your ship docking above the location of the first objective. As per the contract, do not open either, or you will forfeit the transaction and we will make sure your reputation this side of the galactic border will cease to exist. Complete the contract and you'll never have to work another day in your life. to the device. The station will recognize you as a tier one access tester. with an 
adequate challenge. Keep in mind, due to the settings of the GW, it will prevent manipulation of objects while you stay with them. This failsafe was implemented to prevent accidental bodily harm to the carrier of the device. Station's hub core. From here, the tester can access the testing tiers delegated to expanding the functions of the GW. The hub also contains the glass stasis matrix housing the miniature black hole, the source of the station's research. Interact with the console in the center of the room to acquire the GW upgrade and level 2 tester verification. As a level 2 verified tester, the tester shall only have access to tier 2. Lights above tier doors reveal to this tester their latest progress, as a red light denotes that they have not yet completed the previous tiers, and a green light denoting that the tier is accessible for completion. All other tiers may be accessed just as the tester has completed tier 1. By completing all other test rooms in a tier, the tester will receive access to a final room within that tier which houses both the next upgrade and verification for the next tier. Proceed to Tier 2 to continue testing. The testing in this tier implements the new functionality of the GW, namely the accessibility of having access to two polarity singularities at the same time.
These gravity streams are pretty bitchin'. By removing the projectile concept and focusing the gravitational force between two stop generators, we've basically created a pretty sweet transit system. However, I've modified a few by removing one end cap, effectively creating a launcher. Been practicing with them, tossing all sorts of things into them and watching them fly. <laughs> Even launch an apple and hit Desmond's coffee from across the room. He called me an arrogant little shit. I let him know. Ten points. <laughs> He still gives me the love-hate eyes. still requires extensive system repairs as well as repairs to the containment matrix. Following in the wake of the recent wild solar flare surge that occurred approximately 32 solar days ago. Oh! <laughs> 
I was making calibration to the automated turrets when James walked in. Being all high and mighty, wearing the asshole crown as usual, so I decided to bring him down a peg. I disabled the firing pins for the turrets and then set James' clearance to hostile. <laughs> Man almost shit himself. It was so worth it. When Oliver heard what I had done, even he couldn't help himself to a laugh. Crazy old bastard.
progress with the GW and the data from your testing. Congratulations for success of the utilization of the device have increased from 93.26% up to 94.85%. This brings the device's chances of scaling for Bellatorius Complex from its initial 193rd prototype scaling up to its intended full scale. Please return to the main hub to continue. As a level 3 verified tester, you now have access to the tier 3 testing rooms.